You, Aquarius, have the Emperor and the Ace of Cups. You, Aquarius, are finally showing yourself the level of self-respect and love and self-care that you should have done for a very long time. Sometimes y'all can get caught up with your friends truly being your friends. And sometimes your friends are not really that. So now that you, uh, Aquarius, are finally able to actually take care of yourself the way that you want to be taken care, taken care of, now you are beginning to understand your, your intrinsic value. See, value, right? Value does not necessarily equate to price. The value of a person, place, or thing is an asset. You can cash in on that for a lifetime. You prosper for a lifetime. That's wealth, right? A price can be a one-time thing depending on what it is that you're trying to get. So you want to be <laughs> valuable, but not necessarily have a price. Because a pri because something can be, something or someone can be so valuable to the point where there, there is no price. The price is so high. The price is so astronomically high. Nobody can really pay that. That's why they call it priceless. Right? Right? Because that's how valuable you are. So the thing about it is that, you know, Warren Buffett said it himself. Who is a Virgo? Warren Buffett said it himself. When somebody asks you, asks you your price, you know what I mean? At least 500000 <laughs> You know, but he's he was saying that to be facetious. But the point is that so now that you have this level of self-care, you have the Queen of Swords, which represents you're trying to show that level you're trying to experience that level of self-care and wealth with another person. And it hasn't necessarily been the easiest for you because the Page of Pentacles and Injustice. All it is that people want to do is bicker and argue and get on your nerves and try to betray you and act like they're doing something because, you know, you're, you're, you Aquarius are so broken and something's wrong with you and y'all don't know what y'all doing and y'all are so intrinsically terrible which is cap which is a sh which is a lie which is a deflection which is a manipulation tactic you aquarius know good and well that y'all bring value into people's lives that's why so many people got to be friends to be to to to, to be low-key enemies of you because if you wasn't bringing in any kind of value why would these people feel so threatened by your existence and they're in a relationship with you, some of them. So the Nine of Pentacles represents, so you Aquarius understand, you're beginning to understand, it's not even always about money. Sometimes people are jealous of you and envious of you because you can eat for a lifetime as opposed to eating for right now. And the Two of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles represents, so now a lot of you Aquarius are gonna be more selective about the quality of the people that you call yourself interacting with. It just can't be once, it just can't be, you know, if these people are gonna call themselves your friends, they have to actually be good friends. They have to actually be good romantic partners, right? Whether it's your husband, your wife, they have to actually be a good fit. They have to actually care. They have to actually put in an effort. That's right. The Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups is about, because if they don't, you can always bring value to somebody else. The Seven of Cups, that's the thing. You Aquarius are beginning to figure it out. The Seven of Cups, as long as you're able to be valuable without having a price, you'll always have options. That's a piece of game for y'all. So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the, the justice. And justice came up at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Queen of Swords, Star, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords. Queen of Swords and the Star Star card represents Aquarius. You're going to have people that are, that are going to want to be with you, but they're not going to be able to. You know why? They're too dysfunctional. 
They can't live up to your value. They can't, they can't match you to your value. They cannot exceed you in your value. You know why? Because they're very petty. They're worried about all of the wrong things. Remember when I said you got to learn to get rid of jealousy? Remember when I said you got to learn to get rid of anger holding on to these grudges and all this gobbledygook? Why? Because it ruins your wealth. It ruins your value. You sitting up there disliking somebody for 20 some odd years over a small a petty event ruins your value. Now you start to have a price. You don't want that. You want to have so much value to the point where you don't have a price. Two is there's no amount of money on any planet in the universe that can afford. You, you understand what I'm saying? That could afford you. So the four swords and the eight of swords is about how since that's the case. And a lot of people, so a lot of people, you're going to find that when you're dating some people, they're not even going to try. You're going to find that some of you, of course, are not going to be able to get a call back from some people, even though you're trying to get to know them. Why? Because they're not even trying. Because they know that they can't match your value and they know that they are a bunch of stuck hood boogers. <laughs> so they can't even, they can't even match your intrinsic value. Now let's clarify the seven of cups. Page of cups, two of cups, queen of cups, mm, 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 mm. Her, uh, the magician, excuse me. To clarify the seven of cups, Page of, to clarify the Seven of Cups, you have the Page of Cups and the Two of Cups. Some people going to make it seem like you're delusional. Some people that you, are date, that you will date or you are dating, if you are dating, will make it seem like you're on your high horse and that you are the ones that need to come down. Don't listen to them because those people are trying to trick you into devaluing yourselves so that you can have a price. They're trying to trick you into thinking that any type of attention and love that somebody shows you, that's you being relationship material now. When in actuality, the Page of Cups, especially in this reading for you, Aquarius, and the Two of Cups is all about how you found your internal peace and you understand said value that people who are too stupid are not going to be able to understand. So therefore, they're going to be they're going to try to minimize it and trash it. Right. So because of the fact that you found your own internal peace and value, the two of cups, you can date. Your options are open way more than it used to be. So the queen of cups and the magician now represents. So now you have to be selective about the quality of the people that you are interacting with. This magician, are they a trickster or are they people that can create magic? 